let's start for the few people who may not know who you are yep. uh, that are watching. A little bit about yourself, your background and the nature of Access. Yes. So my name is Philip, Philip Kubenga. I'm the Regional Director for Access Communications in Middle East and Africa. I'm Dubai based. I've been in this region for close to 15 years and uh, I've been with Access now for exactly three years. Okay. And Hello. coming from the IT industry, telecommunication industry. And Access then as a, a company or brand, what sectors, industries are they specifically involved in? Yeah, so Access is a uh, Swedish company based uh, out of Lund in the south of Sweden uh, with nine regions, uh, with regional offices, Middle East and Africa is Dubai. And what Access does is actually provide intelligent network security solutions. Okay. So what would be the most important sectors that you are targeting? That, let's say you're here for Intersec this year. Where are you looking for business with this for access communications? Yeah, so we have looked at uh, what sectors to focus on because uh, being in this region, you can focus on a lot of sectors. But for us, we decided actually from uh, last year to focus on retail, critical infrastructure as well. And critical infrastructure is pretty broad. We look at that at oil and gas sector, energy sector and also now starting to get ourselves more and more involved in, in smart cities okay. as well. So these are the three main sectors that we want to focus on moving forward. And so what challenges then do you see um, occurring as you try and break those, you know, break into those markets or develop within those particular categories? Yeah. Do you see any other kind of challenges or potential opportunities that you know your business specifically can cater for? Look, we mainly see opportunities. Uh, that's the reason why we have decided to move into these, uh, into these segments, because these are very much growing segments. Also, our global organization has decided to focus on this. So all the solutions, all the innovations that is coming is actually focused very much on these sectors. Mm -hmm. And that's what we have decided to drive. Some of the challenges that we have is that you need to find the right partners as well, working within a certain ecosystem to bring the right solutions, is to understand what the problems are that these customers are facing, and then bringing the right solutions to, to those uh, issues that they're having. And, and how do you go then, I suppose, about finding that right partner? You know, there's obviously, when I suppose people think of the Middle East, you know, they group it as one kind of, you know, area, but it's a very unique, um, you know, area or region, many different countries. Um, how do you go about finding the right partners in those countries then? At times it's not, uh, it's not easy to find the right partners, uh, but we have this long-term view. So uh, we start looking at partners, working with partners. We want to train the partners. That's very important to us, is they need to understand our offering. Mm -hmm. uh, and in general, once the partners feel the support that we are providing them, uh, we start building this relationship and uh, for the long term. Nothing that Access does is actually focused on the short term. We, we, we have this vision that we say, if once we start moving into a certain sector, we're there for the long term. And that is very much what we're bringing to our partners as well. Okay. I had the opportunity to meet your, one of your marketing team, Monica, recently. Um, what do you do when you are entering into a marketplace? How do you raise that brand awareness initially? And how do you develop a, a, that long-term marketing strategy to make sure that your potential clients and existing clients mm -hmm. are aware of the services you're offering? Well, first of all, we look, again, we look at first at the partners that, uh, that we have, so as to ensure that the partners have all the knowledge that we want to transmit to them. Mm -hmm. It's also as to bring the expertise that we build around the world to them. Then secondly, what we do is that we try to actually grow towards the end customer as well, because we feel that is very important also. The end customer needs to understand what our offering is. Mm -hmm. And then, of course, uh, with the marketing team, you look at Intersec, for example, fantastic event. Uh, we're here, we've been with, uh, here for the last 12 years and this is how very much you drive your brand awareness uh, with partners. So being here in Dubai, it's a regional hub, so partners from the whole region come here and that is uh, very important for us. Okay, as you say, being a regional hub for a lot of different markets, Africa is one of the big topics that always comes up every year in terms of people that are trying to use Dubai as a base to enter that market. Is that something that's, that you guys are focusing on? Do you see opportunities out there or is that um, a potential business 
opportunity for you guys? No, we certainly see Africa as, uh, as a big opportunity. I mean, we have offices in, uh, in South Africa. We have an office in uh, Nairobi that handles uh, whole of East Africa. We're continuously looking at expanding in Africa. But here as well, it's very much focusing on the certain sectors, industry segments that we want to work with. Okay. Because the opportunities are enormous, right. but you need to, to focus. And again, with a long-term view, in Africa, nothing is short term. Yes. Right. Yeah. Being obviously a very tech heavy company, there was a huge amount of buzz in 2017 that's continued in this year into AI, machine learning and everything like that. What kind of challenges do you see or opportunities do you see from a tech perspective within your industry, within your category? Look, we see this as a very positive development because I think there are definitely opportunities coming up and, uh, and see how we with our innovation and solutions, we can integrate that into the complete offering and moving forward as the development of the market happens. But we don't want to wait. We very much want to drive the market as well and see where these opportunities are. Okay, excellent. Philippe, it's been an absolute pleasure talking to you. Thank you Thank very, you very much. much. Thanks a Great. lot. Thank you. Thank you.